Just days after the fire which destroyed their processing plant, meat workers gathered at Te Aroha Rugby Club, a few minutes drive away, to hear their fate. They met to ask questions of Silver Fern CEO Keith Cooper, questions about their immediate future, and most liked what they heard. We've taken them through to Christmas payment-wise, and probably more importantly, to give them some certainty, uh, we're offering 190 jobs at our Pacific plant, which enables us to give them certainty of, of income, uh, probably until May next year, and it also enables us to continue to service our suppliers from this region with their livestock. Three weeks guaranteed pay until Christmas. Relief evident on the faces of many workers, tempered by the reality of what they now face. Yeah, it's bittersweet, really. <laughs> yeah. Any way to explain it. After an anxious few days, Keith Cooper says certainty about the rest of the year will put some minds at ease. I believe they positively saw uh, what the company was doing for them, how we're assisting them, and most importantly, how we've uh, stepped up to the plate and are paying them through to Christmas. 190 positions will be made available at other silver fern plants throughout the North Island most of those at the Pacific plant in Hastings. It would most likely require a permanent shift until another plant is built in Te Aroha, but one most we spoke to would be willing to make to keep their jobs. Laurie McKay, a long-term Te Aroha employee, says despite offers from other companies, he'll stick with Silver Fern. I have decided and I told them at that time, because the company's been loyal to me over the years, I'll see what they come up with for me and I've got no complaints what the company have done uh, as far as our future goes uh, and keeping us working for the company. So I'm showing my loyalty. They've showed me their loyalty and employing me over 14 years. So I believe that uh, all goes hand in hand and I will definitely have my name down for Pacific. Rebecca Walton and Donna Groudon, along with their families, told us they'd be happy to make the shift south despite the change in lifestyle and a drop in pay. I've been there nine seasons and I'm just B grade. So it is, it's, you've got to work your way from the bottom. You can't just push your way in. It's, no. it's how it works Seniority here. Base. Yeah. Seniority base plant. Yeah. Keith Cooper says, however, that Silver Fern is committed to rebuilding eventually in Te Aroha, either at the current site or if that's too badly damaged, somewhere else. So arguably it could be relatively um, simple if you like to reinstate on site. Um, had it been more widespread it may have been a total demolition but again I'd stress this is all going to be uh, relevant to the cost of rebuilding versus the total cost of potentially a new site um, in another, another place. So it's a bit of work in progress. There will be fierce competition for the 190 positions elsewhere in the new year many speculating on what might help their cause. There's 350 people here and they want 190. Um, if your practices at work here were good, you'll get a job straight away. If your attendance records are bad or, and all the other stuff that goes with it, then you might be the last to be picked. But that's fair, fair. Yeah. I think I think everything will come into play. I think attendance will be a very big part. A lot of people will be thinking about that. You know, if you want a job, get your ass to work. Our attendance <laughs> is good too. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> the sign behind me here and in front of the Silver Ferns meat processing plant in Te Aroha says no vacancy. And that's certainly the case for around 160 former employees at the plant who will start the new year without work. Drew Chappell. Country 99 TV News.